There wasn't anything he wasn't willing to do. He would call, he would meet, he would grovel, he would strong arm, he would use every tactic uh, any leader has at his disposal to try to get this thing done. But the days when a president could command votes, even from members of his own party, were long over. Bill Clinton was used to Arkansas. You know, he knew the good old boys. He knew who he had to go to. He could walk on the floor of the legislature and basically, you know, with a smile and a pat in the back, he could get any vote he wanted. That wasn't true here in Washington. And in many ways, it was frustrating for him because he really felt that he knew what was best for the country and that by the sheer power of his personality and his words and his smile that somehow he can make it work. The budget wended its way through a series of committee and floor votes in the House and Senate. We went into some of these votes not having the votes, getting calls during the voting process that, you know, someone had turned, someone had moved. You know, these things are being won by one vote. I mean, imagine that. I mean, this is the budget. This is like his entire presidency goes down if he fails. And, you know, you're up to, you know, to one vote on, e you know, each time. In early August, the final budget bill reached the floor of the House. With the vote still in doubt, all eyes turned to a freshman Democrat from an historically Republican district, Marjorie Margulies Mezvinsky. We had her down as voting yes, and she votes no early on. And so we said, go in there, find out what the hell's going on, try to turn our vote around. First of all, I mean, as a, as a former member, if you're gonna vote against the leadership, vote and get the hell out of there. She didn't do that, she stayed there. So suddenly these guys are all pouring on her and she's standing there and they're saying, come on, you gotta change your vote. This is important to the administration. She then says something like, I'll do this, but the president has to come into my district. So they call me back in the office and they say, will the president come into her district to do so? And I said, absolutely. <laughs> Whatever it takes, we're going to do it. With the vote and his presidency on the line, Clinton paced nervously in a small office in the West Wing. We're all crowded around this little television set, really with a, quite a high level of uncertainty. Finally, Mesvinsky cast her vote yes and the budget passed.